Aristocats is one of the most boring movies ever created. I don't know what's up with these early Disney movies, but I gotta say, they mastered the art of filler. Before I start, I wanna say, this sort of animation, this rugged style of animation, I fucking adore it. I think it's absolutely beautiful, and I love the mistakes that are, like, in it, you know what I'm saying? A lot of animation and a lot of things in general nowadays just seem to be way too perfect and way too clean, and I love this, like, this very human side of animation to where, like, there's still drawing very well it's hand animated and it shows like genuine it's, it feels like genuine not like computer made you know what I'm saying animation like this at least to me has so much personality and it's so like distinct and rugged and I, I just fucking love it I love it that's all I had to say that's the, that's one of the only good things I had to say about uh this movie besides Duchess Duchess is a very good design but she's just a cat at the end of the day anyway the whole movie follows Duchess and her children Duchess is a white cat and her children is a varying <laughs> Colors. Duchess, I don't know what you be doing, but some of these cats not white. I'm just saying. She's being progressive for the time, okay? She was exploring her sexual desires and popped out a few kids of varying colors and races. Anyway, this movie is about this cat mother and her children. And uh they live in a very rich <laughs> they live in a very rich place. Their uh their owner, their uh madame as they call her is going to die one day they don't say when but one day and so all of her inheritance goes to the cats and uh they have a butler and the butler is just like the butler overhears the creation of the will and it's just like hey that's kind of fucking whack which i mean kind of is but you know i'd do the same loki <laughs> but yeah her butler who's been serving her for however long basically overhears this news and is just like okay well i'm gonna kill the cats and I think it's kind of stupid because they could have easily waited until Madame passed away if they didn't want to murder Madame at all. Um, but no, they just fucking, they try to kill the cats. They don't even try to kill the cats, okay? They try to relocate the cats and I don't understand him. Why are you trying to be sneaky around the house you live at? Don't you fucking live here? But yeah, anyway, Edgar kidnaps the kitties and decides to relocate them in a different location, uh, far away from Madame's palace. Her, it's basically a palace. But since he has a shitty ass moped or this fucking like motor scooter, I don't know what the fuck it is. It's fucking trash. But anyway, uh, since he has that, he runs into some dogs and he decides to like, I don't know, not run over the dogs and steer out of the road. And then the cats, the cats who are in this basket, uh, get flown out of the basket and gets tossed under this bridge and so getting tossed duchess wakes up and tries to find her children she doesn't know where she's at and uh, she ends up finding her children a lot of this doesn't really matter it's just kind of like dragging on and so um once she finds her children they decide to spend overnight in the basket because it's raining and she doesn't know what the fuck to do and so they spend overnight in the basket and um when they wake up they find this alley cat whose name is said like 10 million times throughout the whole entire movie. I understand perfectly, Monsieur Mali. Well, come along, girlies. Oh my god. I think Duchess might be the first person ever to say girlies. Dude, she started a fucking trend. Yeah, his name is said like 10 million times throughout the movie like it means something. And um, I hate the way this person fucking talks. He, he says baby a lot. He, um, the way he talks to women really pisses me off. Anyway, besides all that, O'Malley hasn't had sex in a long time. So he decides to um, charm Duchess and help her along back to Paris where she belongs. And so they take a little road trip and um, they end up meeting these geese. And these geese kind of fry his shit, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Your husband is very charming and very handsome. Well... <laughs> Uh, you see, I, I'm not exactly her husband. Exactly. You either are, or you're not. Oh, cook his ass! Cook his ass! All right. I'm not. Oh? Hmm. 
It's scandalous. He's nothing but a cat. Keep going! He's simply a reprobate. Keep going! Anyway, oh, his eyes are too close together. Ah! Shifty, too. Mm. And look at his crooked smile. His chin is very weak. Oh, they gave him the leafy treatment. They said, yo, chin game? Kinda weak, buddy. Anyway, the geese are actually going to Paris as well, and so they decide to guide Duchess and uh, the kittens to Paris. And so once they get into Paris, I don't know, dumb shit happens. Oh, Uncle! Oh, oh no. yes, I think we'd better be going. Oh, right how it goes. Birds of a feather must stick together. <laughs> that stick together. Disney, no, 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 Disney, Disney, no, 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 no. Please, please don't make an incest joke, please. I'm, I'm not ready for this right now. You know something? I like Uncle Waldo. Yeah, I bet you would. After the geese and duchess part ways, they go off in order to go back to their home. But the thing is, the kids are tired. They had a long day. They've been walking like all day. And so therefore, O'Malley, I hate saying his fucking name. O'Malley decides to go to a place to where, you know, the kids can get some sleep. And they end up, they end up going to a swinger party. <laughs> Sounds like Scat Cat and his gang have dropped by. Oh, friends of yours? Uh-huh, yeah, they're old buddies and they're, they're real swingers. Swingers? What is a swinger? You know, uh, not exactly your type, Duchess, and uh, maybe we'd better find another place, huh? They thought they were real clever with that double entendre, huh? Oh, oh I'm delighted to meet you, Mrs. Cat's Cat. Likewise, Duchess. You're too much. Oh, you are charming. They don't even try to hide what's actually going on here, dude. Beautiful. If you want to turn me on. Oh, Duchess, I knew you were a slut. Now we get to the main reason why anybody watches this movie in present day. This song is absolutely a banger. It's just racist as fuck. Well, the song's not inherently racist. It's just that, like, there's this one section to where it's, like, really racist, and you're just like, I can't really ignore that. Anyway, after the party, these uh, alley cats kind of go off. They go, they kind of just fuck off. And then um, the kittens try to get their shut eye because they have a long day ahead of them. And um, O'Malley is trying to slide in very, very hard. Oh, I'm sorry, my dear. But you just have to go home tomorrow. Yeah. Well, I guess you know best. But I'm going to miss you, baby. And those kids. Gee, I'm going to miss them too. Well, we almost had a father. <laughs> this shouldn't be as funny as it is. When everyone wakes up, they finally take their journey and they finally reach their destination. They reach Madame's house. And so Duchess and O'Malley part ways and... This is just 100% like a reenactment sort of of like Lady in the Trap. It's like... It, it, it's it's way too close. Yeah, Duchess and the kittens get caught again by Edgar, and Edgar is going to ship them to Timbuktu instead of killing them. I don't know fucking why. And you know, O'Malley gets information of this from a mouse who's been in the movie the whole time. I didn't talk about them because they're not relevant in any sense. But anyway, um, O'Malley decides to go help Duchess, and uh, he he wants the mouse to bring back his gang of alley cats, and. They, they help Duchess, and uh, they live happily ever after. I don't need to explain anything else. Where is this energy for Duchess and her children? Literally, this movie could have been over so long ago. And yeah, then the movie's basically over. This movie is basically nothing but filler and half of a story. I don't even think it's a romantic story at all because... They don't bond whatsoever. They just kind of like, Duchess is just like, oh, you know, it'd be nice to have a man around a house, I guess. But yeah, nothing in this movie actually fucking matters or is actually of substance or enjoyability besides that one song, Everybody Wants to Be a Cat. There's a side story I didn't really talk about to where Edgar tries to like, um pick up after his evidence and everything like that, but um he gets um, greeted by these dogs on this farm and it's... It's nothing but Looney Tune shit, so I didn't really need to talk about it. But yeah, this movie's gonna be a 2 out of 10 for me. I can say that super solidly. This movie... 
it's nothing. It's nothing. It's nothing. Anyway, that's really all I have to say. How's it going, pups? It's a canine, and I'm. Gee whiz! Look at that bridge.